Hey guys, Jason here with RWB NetSec, and today we're going to be going over Automator as part of the Open Source Intelligence Gathering section. So let's go ahead and jump right into it here. Um, so Automator is a URL IP MD5 hash analyzer, uh, mainly used by intrusion analysts. Uh, so Automator is going to take the target you give it connect to a set of predefined websites and then it will return things to you like um, you know does this domain serve malware um, maybe if you give it a hash it's going to check and see if that hash has been detecting on, detected on a site like virus total um, so it does use virus total rob text uh, and several other sites and this basically just automates the process so you don't have to visit these sites individually so as an intrusion analyst, uh, you're going to come across these things um, where one of your users may get an email asking them to click on a link. You could use something like Automator to research the URL to see if anything malicious has actually been reported on it. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the options here. So within Kali, uh, just go up to Applications, Information Gathering, OSINT analysis and then click on Automator. And you can see here there are several options here. We're not going to uh, do all of these uh, in the tutorial, but I'll just go over uh, some of them here for you. So, first of all, uh, is just the target. So, the target that you're giving Automator to run against is either going to be an IP address. Uh, and, uh, a domain name or an MD5 hash possibly. Uh, the TAC O option is going to let you output your results to a text file. Uh, TAC F will do a CEF file. Uh, TAC W will output an HTML and then TAC C will do a uh, CSV formatted file. The TAC S option for source. So uh, when you run a, a scan with Automator it's going to check either uh, like the domain name against several websites like URL void, uh, malware domain list. Uh, it's going to run through several of those, but you can use this TACS switch to specify just one of those sites to run against. So say you have an MD5 hash and you just want to run it against virus total. Uh, you could just use TACS space and then uh, virus total for the option. Uh, the post and the proxy options we're not going to use. I'm not going through uh, a proxy for any other requests. And then the TAC A for the user agent, um, that just lets you change the default user agent uh, that the web servers are going to see when you send requests to them. All right, so now that we've looked at the options, let's go ahead and start running through, uh, through some uh, scenarios here. Uh, we'll start with a domain analysis. Uh, I'm just going to pull this screen up here, give us a little more room. Open a new terminal window. And then I'm just going to type in Automator. And then we'll do, um, let's just do Facebook, why not? Hit enter. And you can see as it's going through its checks, uh, it will show you the websites that it's checking that domain against. So it's going to be looking for things like, uh, does this domain live on any of the blacklists that are out there? Uh, was there anything malicious reported, any viruses, uh, malware being served, things like that. And uh, within a company, if, if you are an intrusion analyst for your company, you could use this to put your company's domain on and see if your company's domain is showing up on any blacklists. All right, so we can see the results have come back now. And of course, there was nothing malicious reported for Facebook. Uh, you can see it gives you the GOIP coordinates for it. So you could actually take these coordinates and look up exactly where that. Uh, where that domain lives. So let's say that we wanted to look at a domain that we know uh, is malicious. So let me clear the screen here for you. 
We'll do automator. And the domain I'm going to use is called cons.ru. And I actually got this off of uh, malwaredomainlist.com. They keep a, a list of all of the malicious URLs reported. So you can go there and grab one. I just randomly grabbed this one. So we'll hit enter here. And it basically runs everything through all of the, uh, the same sites. Again, you could take each of these websites that it's showing, visit that site like uh, unshort.me and your or virus total, and do these individually, but Automator does everything for you all, all at one time. So now we've got the results back, and we can see that that domain is included in blacklists for, uh, for UR, URL vo void. I uh, can't talk. So it's, it's on uh, Fortinet, Malware Domain List, MyWatt. Um, it shows you the coordinates for it, and, of course, it's located out of Russia. So now let's just follow the same stream here. Uh, this time we'll do an IP analysis. So I'm just going to use the IP address that it showed for this previous domain. We'll do 90.156.201.15. Hit enter. And then if you'll notice, the sites that it's checking against will be a little bit different than what we did with the uh, domain lookup. All right, so we got the results back. So if we just scroll back up here, uh, we can see now that we've got several entries from the Malcode site. Uh, the dates that uh, malicious items were detected. And it also gives us the MD5 hashes of malware that was probably detected on the site. So now we can continue looking. If we take one of these hashes and give it to Automator, we should get back uh, in a lot more information here. So let's just take this hash, copy it, and we'll do Automator. The hash and then hit enter again and then we'll let this run through so now it's going to take that hash and uh, throw it against sites like virus total and threat expert and some of the other ones to see if that hash matches anything that's already in their database so there we've got the results back if we scroll back up and we can see now that uh, it sent that hash against 48 different antivirus engines and these are the results that came back so it shows the antivirus vendor and the name that that vendor gave to that particular piece of malware so say for instance um, if you just wanted to send this hash against uh, virus total, here's where you could use that TACS option. So you would do TACS and then virus total. Hit enter again. And now it should just run it against virus total site. And you can see the results came back a lot faster. Uh, but it shows us basically the same results we got before. Now, as far as the actual source names that you use with the TACS switch, those names are actually contained within a sites.xml file. And that file comes with uh, the automator package. There's actually several files included. If we look at, um, let's just see, let's go to CD uh, user share automator and then just do an ls here. You can see there are several files here. Uh, here, and This sites.xml file is the one that contains the source names that you'll want to use with that switch. So I'm just going to pull it up here. Put it with gedit. Within this file, if you scroll down and until you see these site tags here, each of these site tags is going to give you the name of a source. So like here you've got Robtex, uh, here you've got Fortinet, 
uh, VTP DNS IP. So these are the names that you will use with the uh, TAC S switch. And just as a quick side note, uh, say for example you have a, a piece of software that you maybe got uh, in an email. You suspect that it may be malware. Uh, and you want to take an MD5 hash of that file and then send that hash to VirusTotal. You can actually generate the hash yourself within Linux. So let me go ahead and close this out. Uh, there's a there's a program that's built into Linux uh, called MD5SUM. And uh, let's just say that I wanted to get an MD5 hash of the inputs.py file. So at the command line, just do MD5SUM inputs.py hit enter and then here you can see it's generated this hash and then you could copy this hash then and then feed it to automator or you could go to the sites like virus total directly and uh, paste that hash into it to see if any uh, results come back so you can see the automator is a pretty awesome tool and is helpful for intrusion analysts um, if you get malware at your office, uh, you have suspicious domains that you want to check out, Automator is the way to go to get some initial information on, the, on that data. And it does save you a load of time instead of you having to visit each of those sites individually. You can just uh, point Automator to that file or domain and then let it run all of the checks for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if it's your first time here, I would love if you subscribed to the channel and shared it out with all of your friends. So my hope is to build a community where we can help each other learn and grow in security, especially if you're just getting into it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And again, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you all have an awesome day. See you guys.